How's it going ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. In this video, we go hands-on with the Logitech Slim Folio Pro for the iPad Pro. Check it out. Thanks for watching 9to5Mac. Be sure to thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos. So here is the 11 inch Slim Folio Pro. It also comes in a 12.9 inch version for the larger iPad Pro. Uh, inside you will find some documentation basically just guiding you through the basic setup there you'll also get some regulatory and legal information as well so here is the logitech slim folio pro let's go ahead and get it unwrapped and there you go so you will notice that it's a typical folio style design with the built-in keyboard you'll find a couple of plastic protective pieces to peel off you can do that and Logitech's keyboard folio features the same or very similar material that you'll find on Apple's smart keyboard folio. So if you've used that, you'll know what to expect as far as texture on the outside. All right, so now let's take our 11 inch iPad Pro and insert it, there we go. So the big difference here with this keyboard folio is that you get bumpers on the outside edge of all the corners. So it's going to protect your iPad Pro much better than Apple's smart keyboard folio is gonna protect your iPad Pro. Now with that said, the Logitech Slim Folio Pro provides a noticeably bulkier experience when compared to the smart keyboard folio. Uh, so that's sorta of gonna be one of the running themes of this review. Now inside the folio, you'll notice this little strip here that provides the magnetic connection in order to dock the iPad to the base of the keyboard folio. And you can see the light, it powers on as soon as it's in typing mode and that latch magnetically attaches to the rear of the case. Now, unfortunately, there is no smart connector support, so it does require a battery to power it on and it pairs using a Bluetooth low energy connection. Now, of course, there is a spot open for the second generation Apple Pencil to connect to your iPad Pro for charging, but you can also accommodate other styli, simply slide it underneath the magnetic latch like that to store it away. So even if you're using the Logitech Crayon, for instance, you can easily take it with you. Okay, so let's focus for a second on the main advantage of this Slim Folio Pro. And that, of course, is the keyboard. Yes, indeed, the keyboard on the Logitech Slim Folio Pro is really, really good. It is so nice to type on. You have really good tactile response. There's lots of key travel here. I think if you are a pure typist, if you're someone who uses your iPad primarily for typing, you're gonna love this thing because it is, to me, a much better typing experience than typing on the Smart Keyboard Folio. Even though the Smart Keyboard Folio does give you multiple viewing angles, which Logitech's Keyboard Folio lacks, I still think it's a better overall typing experience due to the tactile response of the keys, due to the fact that you have a built-in backlight, which is, you know, great when typing in dimly lit environments. There are two levels. Uh, it is a little aggressive as far as the timeout is concerned, but they do that, of course, for battery life reasons. Logitech says this thing's gonna last for three months on a single charge. I think that's a little bit optimistic, but as you'll see later, it's super easy to recharge. There's also built-in shortcut keys. There's tons of shortcut keys available uh, right there at the top. And like I said earlier, when you disconnect, it automatically turns off. You have that magnetic connection right here. And then when you reconnect, it automatically turns back on. There's no power button or anything like that. So that's super convenient. Now, although I appreciate the protection that the bumpers provide, they make pressing or interacting with the buttons on the iPad Pro very mushy, and it's just not a very good feeling at all. So that's one downside uh, besides the bulk that these bumpers add, just an insane amount of bulk. Uh, this thing is thicker, obviously, than the Smart Keyboard Folio. It's even thicker than the uh, MacBook Air, the 2018 MacBook Air, probably thicker than a MacBook Pro as well, even though I don't have one on hand to test. Uh, there's different modes. So you have the typing mode. Here is sketch mode. So basically it just kind of collapses down, gives you a nice stable surface for sketching or drawing or taking notes that's slightly inclined for that perfect viewing angle. And Logitech also has what they call reading mode, which basically involves you holding your iPad like this. Uh, it's a little bit bulky to hold in this way for any long period of time. Like I mentioned earlier, the bulkiness is the biggest downside to the Logitech Slim 
Folio Pro. That's why I think that this case is mainly aimed at those who type more than they do anything else with their iPad Pro. It could also be for someone who wants a keyboard and also wants better protection than what Apple provides with the smart keyboard folio. Now, here's something really cool. There's a built-in USB Type-C port that allows you to connect directly to your iPad Pro to recharge the keyboard, which is super convenient. You just recharge directly from your iPad. Also notice the inverted T arrow keys. That is so great. And that's another thing that typists are gonna love. So here are the advantages. Great protection, excellent keyboard with tactile feedback, backlit keyboard, dedicated shortcut keys, inverted T arrow keys, stable typing surface, good for lap typing and desktop typing, accommodates the Apple Pencil, and it's much cheaper than the smart keyboard full now downsides are as follows, bulky, uncomfortable to hold in reading mode, only one viewing angle, no smart connector support, and mushy button interactions. But keep in mind that this keyboard is primarily designed with typists in mind or those who want a good typing experience but also want more protection than what Apple offers with the smart keyboard folio. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.